Yechezkeel, Ezekiel 31. And it came to pass in the eleventh year, in the third month, in the first day of the month, that the word of Yahuwah came unto me, saying, Son of Adam, speak unto Pharaoh, king of Mitzrayim, and to his multitude. Whom are you like in your greatness? Behold, Ashur was a cedar in Lebanon, with fair branches, and with a shadowing shroud, and of a high stature, and his top was among the thick bows. The waters made him great, the deep set him up on high, Eth with her rivers running round about his plants, and sent out Eth her little rivers unto all the trees of the field. Therefore his weight was exalted above all the trees of the field, and his bows were multiplied, and his branches became long because of the multitude of waters when he shot forth. All the fowls of heaven made their nests in his bows, and under his branches did all the beasts of the field bring forth their young. And under his shadow dwelt all great nations. Thus was he fair in his greatness, in the length of his branches, for his root was by great waters the cedars in the garden of Elohim could not hide him the fir trees were not like his bows and the chestnut trees were not like his branches nor any tree in the garden of Elohim was like unto him in his beauty I have made him fair by the multitude of his branches, so that all the trees of Eden that were in the garden of Elohim envied him. Therefore thus says Adonai Yahuwah, because you have lifted up yourself in height, and he has shot up his top among the thick bows, and his heart is lifted up in his height. I have therefore delivered him into the hand of the mighty one of the heathen. He shall surely deal with him. I have driven him out for his wickedness. And strangers, the terrible of the nations, have cut him off and have left him. Upon the mountains and in all the valleys his branches are fallen, and his bows are broken by all the rivers of the land, and all the people of the earth are gone down from his shadow and have left him. Upon his ruin shall all the fowls of the heavens remain, and all the beasts of the field shall be upon his branches. to the end that none of all the trees by the waters exalt themselves for their height, neither shoot up at their top among the thick bows, neither their trees stand up in their height, all that drink water. For they are all delivered unto death to the nether parts of the earth, in the midst of the children of men, with them that go down to the pit. Thus says Adonai Yahweh, In the day when he went down to Sheol, I caused a mourning. I covered up the deep for him, and I restrained the floods thereof, and the great waters were stayed, and I caused Lebanon to mourn for him, and all the trees of the field fainted for him. 
I made the nations to shake at the sound of his fall, when I cast him down to Sheol, with them that descend eth into the pit. And all the trees of Eden, the choice and best of Lebanon, all that drink water, shall be comforted in the nether parts of the earth. They also went down into Sheol with him unto them that be slain with the sword. And they that were his arm that dwelt under his shadow in the midst of the heathen. To whom are you thus like in glory? and in greatness among eth the trees of Eden. Yet shall you be brought down with the trees of Eden unto the nether parts of the earth. You shall lie in the midst of the uncircumcised eth with them that be slain by the sword. This is Pharaoh and all his multitude says Adonai Yahuwah.